there. All right, so time to head back up to the locker room. Um, there. Good morning. How are you doing? Hello. So, the locker room was on the second floor, I think. Or, no. No, I think it was the first one. Yeah, first floor. So, just double checking to make sure that this is the women's locker room over there. It's a light switch. Yes, okay. So, it's not like there are two locker rooms for the guys. I mean, how should I know? They seem to mainly have a bunch of guys here, so... Might have been enough to have two men's locker rooms and like maybe one women's locker room. Anyways... Um... That's my locker, okay? Can I open it? Or do I need to solve a puzzle to figure out the combination? Now, what was my combination? <laughs> oh yeah, I wrote it down inside the cover of my police manual. Great. Fine, I'll look it up. Because <laughs> I don't think it's something I can find in-game. Ugh. So... <laughs> Because there's no police manual item that I'm aware of. So. Alright. Oh. Seven, seven, six, apparently. Yes. I managed to... Um look it up without getting any spoilers which i'd say is impressive but <laughs> all right sunny bonds please call dispatch at once thanks for the host all right so i've got a flashlight i've got a notebook and a nightstick nice so can i close it again all right. So, time to head up to dispatch. And then I need to drive to the park again. <laughs> Can't wait. So, I'll talk to him. So, Aspen Falls, and um, that it? Alright. Wait. It's amazing how buttons like that one, are so ideally suited to the human hand. Okay. Not sure what the mouse cursor is supposed to do. We have an evil mind. Okay. <laughs> oh, fine. Fine. I guess it was about the window, not about the pin board thing. Um, I only know about one of my two exams. The first one went pretty well, and I hope the second one went okay. But, yeah. At least one of them did. Alright. So, saving. And I'll overwrite this save. Oh, I 
I didn't get all the points, but I got a fair amount. If I did that well in all of my exams, I'd be very happy. Alright, um, I'll need to pull up the map again, or, no, actually, that's fine. I know I need to go here, so. Okay, I'll have to break. There. Dang it. I tried to stop. Fine, I'll... I'll restore. I don't want to... Ah. Uh, have... him be fired for running a stop sign. Wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this driving system, but I mean, gotten somewhat used to it now, so it could be worse. But I still don't like it. <laughs> well, apparently they can slow him down. Okay, so. There. Should be heading in the correct direction now, hopefully. Yes, alright. Well, the main reason I can kinda use it now is because of this map thing. <laughs> well, I was just using the uh, map that was provided with the game. That was a mess. Because, like, you've got a giant grid and you need to keep track of where you are on there. <laughs> and I'm not that great doing that, because, well, this just messes with my idea of where I'm going. Because it all looks exactly the same. No matter which direction I'm headed in. So, um... Wait. Oh, break, 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 right? Nope, that went too far. Darn it! <laughs> Thanks for the follow! <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure I went too far. I forgot to, like, to break there, but... It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'll just need to uh, beat that guy. Because the guy who I'm driving to. So it's going to be great. I mean, it's better than shooting him, which I did last stream. Didn't go so well. But yes, finally got the nightstick. And finally got the opportunity to drive around the park again. <laughs> no, no, I missed the turn. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the road now. I'm confused. You'd think that would be the wrong, right? Uh, whatever. <laughs> Unless all of these are somehow one-way roads, but not really. There are no other cars, so... <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, so... Next turn, I think. There. Yes. Finally. <laughs> Back on track. 
kinda. I'll have him speed up a bit. I mean, I will have to slow down there because there's a stop sign, but still. Alright. Not that much further that okay. And time to start slowing down. <laughs> I mean, with my driving skills, it's best to try and be safe about it. There. I managed just in time. And now I actually need to break in front of the park, I think. Or was there a way to turn into the park? I don't think there was. So, break. And get out of this menu. No. Uh, there? No. Gotta open the door. Turn this off. Uh, no. Really? I'm pretty sure there was a way to... There. I did it. <laughs> So, I'm glad they're all just camping out here next to the crazy murderous lunatic over there. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, there's six people, including a toddler, right next to a guy who's super willing to drown a police officer. Thanks for the reminder, I definitely should save. So, there. Alright. Back to this guy. Really? That's normal in California? <laughs> Remind me not to go to California. <laughs> Because, I mean, where I'm at, people would leave that park. <laughs> I mean, obviously, current times are different. Right now, people probably wouldn't be in the park in the first place. I don't know if parks are open yet. No clue. But, either way, they would not stay in that park. <laughs> Not worth it. All right. So uh I'll just go for the stuff I did last time. Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> I mean, who else would you expect on this channel? <laughs> Been doing alright. How about you? So. There. There's that. Time to get knocked out by this lovely guy. Alright. Uh. <laughs> Interesting skills. Managing to subdue the deranged man with a nightstick. Blah blah blah. Okay, great. So. <laughs> I'll just stare at him. Man's clearly in a deranged state of mind. Though, whether because of drug use or some mental instability is unclear. Yep. I can imagine. I mean, you'd think that a police officer wouldn't know which one it is. I mean, it could even be a combination of both. Who knows? And the text just keeps on going by so quickly that, well. <laughs> At 
least he's cooperating now, despite the fact that I just knocked him out. He recovered really quickly. And he seems very stable on his feet now. So, I guess I need to open the door for him, right? What are you going to do with him? Can I open the door? Oh, there's no back seat. Of course. Ah. <laughs> Why wouldn't you want that guy right next to the driver of a car? Hello, how are you doing? I don't trust that guy. But, I mean... Well... <laughs> Of partners in these games. <laughs> I'll just save here, I guess. So, start the car. And I guess I'm supposed to bring him back to the police station. <laughs> yeah, it kind of looks like he's my new partner. <laughs> I mean, honestly, he's sitting in the same seat, so. He might be. Did I forget to do something? I guess I didn't get the clothes. Maybe I should have gotten those. Um, so. Restore. Okay. No reason to get out here. Oh. <laughs> Fine, I'll go back to the other save. So, this one. Restore. Oh, I, I didn't search him. I don't want to search him. He's just wearing underwear. Why do I need to search him? <sighs> so, can I just knock him out right there? No? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I guess not. Would save everyone so much time. But I guess that would not be considered legal. How would I read him as rights? I mean, I guess I can talk to him. Because, I mean, in the previous games, it was just typing out the read their rights out. But, ah. Uh, in this game, it's a bit different. So, keys and the water. Okay. So, nightstick. Okay, you check for injuries and see he's more shaken up than hurt. Okay, good for him. So, handcuffs. You cuff the perpetrator. Well, whatever. It's always great when they... Ah, make sure you can't read the text that's on the screen. Thanks, Sierra. So. Um... Apparently I need to walk him to the car, as soon as he's cuffed. So... I can read him as rights. No? I can search him. Searching a wet and nearly naked man like this is particularly unpleasant. Yeah. Right, thanks for that information. Nevertheless, you're glad you did it when you discover a knife concealed in his briefs. Great. And he isn't saying anything. All right, I'll try and go get his clothes. <laughs> I mean, 
You'd think he'd want those, right? Yes. Ah. Fine. I guess I shouldn't let him run away. <laughs> I'll just lock him up in the police car. <laughs> and hope that he stays there. After daydreaming, you realize that you have to get on- get him to the station. Wow. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Did I just... Did I just smash the door against that guy? <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Out of his head, the prisoner says, Cold, I'm so... Curse word. Cold. Who let the fire go out for curse words sake? All right, nice, great conversation. I guess I just leave his stuff there. All right, and I can't seem to talk to him, so I'll just not read him his rights. I'll overwrite the other save and start the car. All right. So, where was the police station? Um, or do I take him straight to court? I don't think so. Um, hmm. yeah, I'm not quite sure where it was. So, do I call dispatch? No. Okay, I never call dispatch. Why would I do that? Yeah, I mean, would be weird, right? So. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where the police station is. But I'll just try and find it anyways. I'm sure it's somewhere. I guess it was like right here someplace. I'll try and find it. So, guess I can't turn around because reasons. But I'm already heading in the correct direction, so that's nice. Yeah, maybe I should have checked where I was when I exited the police station. Might have been a good thing to do if I did that. Oh. Too late now. <laughs> I mean, I can go back to the save, so I'll be fine. So I think it was around here somewhere. I'll just take the next turn. This one, there. Yeah, I guess I actually need to figure out where it is. That's a shame, but oh well. So, getting into the car. And just switching on navigation as soon as I can. Which would be right now. Oh, it's up there. Great. 
Okay. Well, on the map it's called Polly. Apparently, police doesn't have a C in it anymore. I assume they would know how to spell police and police quest. But maybe it's just a problem with the picture, I guess? Because it seems like it might be a photocopy of a manual. Oh! At least now I know where to go. So, let's try this again. Still can't read them as rights, but he doesn't need those, right? Okay. So I guess that would be 6th Street. Hopefully. Just need to get there. So, ninth. Eighth. Seventh. And sixth. There we go. Nice. And it should be right there, I think. Yeah. It's like right underneath the highway. Blitton PD? No? Dang it. I think I'm in the wrong place now. <laughs> Darn it. Alright. Turning. Right. So, let's do that again. Still not a huge fan of the driving system. So, braking. Closing that. Stopping the motor. And getting out? No? Really? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Why wouldn't he know? So, um... I'll just continue driving around here, I guess? How about going this way for a change? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, at the park it was just stopping there. There. And Lytton PD. So, do I get out here? No? And how do I do that? <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like right there, which is like this one is sixth straight. 
Uh, I was trying to turn into the station, but... Thing is... Wait, is that the station? Okay, fine. I did it! I have no clue how I drove past that last time. My bad. So. Still don't like the driving system, but <laughs> at least I made it here. Okay, so I think this was the place. So open the locker. Take the gun. Shoot the locker. <laughs> Put your gun in the locker, lock the locker, and take the key. Right. And their sensor activated. So, come on, this way. Do I read them any rights now? Nope. Just get on with it unless you want a puddle. Uh, I don't want to know. Let's get this prisoner booked, Bonds. Sure. How do I do that? Finish up and hand him over. Well. Um. You've already searched him and you didn't enjoy it much the first time. <laughs> yep. So, do I give him the knife? Nope. Nope. He doesn't need the knife. Um, anything else? This machine measures the blood alcohol content. Breath samples. Um, no reason to test this guy. Alright. Towel dispenser for cleanups. So I'm coming for prisoners to leave bodily fluids of one kind or another on the floor. Thanks for that information. I didn't need to know that. Payphone provides a means for outside calls. Great. Okay. So, a counter and storage cabinets lying one of the walls. Can I open it? Nothing except cleaning supplies and paper. Anything else? Hello, or Sunny, you gonna give me this guy's belongings or what? Yeah, I was trying! <laughs> oh, fine, I probably need to give him the ID. No? Really? Ah, there. The license. And knife. <laughs> you, you mean tell me that you fished that out of this guy's shorts? Yep, yep, yep I did. So <laughs> that's done. So what are we booking this fine upstanding citizen on anyway? Violation code! Really now? Fine. Uh, where's the list of violation codes? I'm sure I had it somewhere, right? So, not sure why they don't really provide that much for this game. So, radio codes, vehicle codes, penal codes. Um, well, there's resisting arrest, which, I mean, let's be honest, is a bit of a weird one to get arrested for. Like, you'd have to be getting arrested for something to resist arrest, right? Whatever. Murder, attempted murder, kidnapping, armed robbery, 
assault and battery, assault and battery on a police officer, burglary, possession of a controlled substance, possession of cocaine, or concealed weapon. I mean, I guess he had a concealed weapon. But, uh... Well... He didn't really try and attack the police officer that much. I mean, fine, he did. It would have knocked him out, actually. But I'm not sure if that counts. Because, I mean, that's what he would have done if I hadn't knocked him out first. So, not so sure. So I'll just assume it's one of those codes. Because I don't think dancing around in a park half naked is going to be on the list. So, um, I mean, he did resist arrest, I guess, but. Just seems silly to not have the whole other stuff he was doing be something I can arrest him for. <laughs> At least not according to this. So, anyhow, I'd say that's not a very complete list. So, uh, let's say two, four, five, which is assault and battery on a police officer. No, not gonna take that. No, just no, all right. How many numbers do I need to add? Okay, fine. Um, concealed weapon then. So one, two, zero, two, five. Okay. So I'm arresting him for the weapon that I found on him after I knocked him out. Whatever. I'm returning your cuffs here through the drop box. Say Bonds, Officer Morales is requesting a supervisor for a refusal to sign. She's waiting out on the freeway near 7th Avenue on ramp. Okay. So, handcuffs. But yeah, it just seems a bit odd to like already be arresting him and then officially arrest him for stuff you only found out because of the arrest. But, well, I guess it doesn't need to make sense. All right. There. And I want to go to seven. Uh, breaking. So. Not sure where I need to be on seventh street. But I'm hoping I'll find it. I guess. The ramp would be somewhere near the highway, because he said something about a ramp. So, can I switch to the other side of the road again, or no? Yes, I can. Okay. Where am I going? Ah. Uh, didn't mean to click there, but it'll be fine.
there. So, should be reaching 6th again, and then 7th. There going to be a ramp? I need a ramp. No, no ramps. Really? I still don't like the driving system. It said there was going to be something, but like there was absolutely nothing there. <laughs> okay, I found the coroner. Glad I found that place, cause it's gonna be a, an interesting game. Cause I mean, if we need the coroner, ah, uh, while on traffic duty, I mean he was supposed to be on traffic duty, right? No. Oh. Um, I'm on sixth again missed seventh. My driving pattern is a mess. So this should be seventh. Nice. There we go. Next right. Okay. There. So. She said it was on the ramp, right? Right? No? Apparently I can't actually go to full stop on the highway. That's a shame. But there's not a single car on here either. <laughs> it seems like they blew the budget on cars and Police Quest 1 or something. Since you've reached the end of your jurisdiction, you turn around and head in the other direction. Okay. Yeah, true. That is apparently how it works. So I'll just drive around on the highway. <laughs> Why not? So, better hurry. Well, I'm hurrying. I don't know where she is exactly. So, where is she? She has to be somewhere. Ah, up ahead you see a black and white pulled off the freeway along with the detained vehicle. Okay, slow down, pull to the side. Nice. 
I found the only other cars in the entire area. <laughs> and someone's honking. Yep, yep, I definitely should save. Good call. I mean, since I'm already here, am I going to be able to find another car? Yes, I am. <laughs> of course, other cars just appear when you try and walk on the highway. Makes sense. I did that on purpose. Not sure if you noticed. I was making fun of the fact that cars don't seem to exist here. <laughs> Apparently they only exist when you try and walk places. Otherwise I can almost guarantee that no car is going to drive by the entire time. So. Okay, boss man, you handle it. <laughs> Great, thanks. Why is the violator refusing to sign the ticket? Who knows, jeez. First I get the stupid cow, now I have to deal with you too. This policy about calling a supervisor for failure to sign sucks. Look, I don't need you. I'm taking her downtown. No, you're not. You're going to stand right here until I have a chance to talk to the violator. Oh. <laughs> she really should know how to respect her co-workers because, I mean, apparently he's her superior, so, ah, uh, you'd expect some amount of respect just because of that, but just generally, any co-worker, maybe don't treat them like that. Just a thought. Looking at the young lady, you see that she's pregnant and nearly full term. You introduce yourself to the one and say... And say... Your signature on the citation is not an admission of guilt. I don't care. You think I'm afraid to sign a stupid ticket? was a check for 10,000 I wouldn't sign. Can't believe the LPD would allow someone like her patrol or like her to patrol our streets. She's very abusive and insulting. I refuse to sign the ticket for anybody who calls me a fat girl. Fair enough. Would you please reconsider and sign the citation? <laughs> Hell no. Take me to jail. Ah, uh, how about a hospital? What should I do with this lady, you think? Hospital. Especially with that facial expression while being close to giving birth. Hospital. Ah, uh, yeah. So. There is a hospital, so I might actually have to take her to hospital. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to shoot everyone. <laughs> so, I'll save again. I mean... Uh, whoopsies, I forgot my gun. <laughs> well, <laughs> I can't actually shoot people. <laughs> There's that. Uh, probably should have taken that along with me. <laughs> no shooting going on for a while now. I hope I don't need that. <laughs> so. <laughs> well. What am I going to do here? Um, I think that's the notebook. Yes. Okay. At least I figured that out. Um, the stick, I mean, I don't think that would work too well. So I'll try not to do that. So, uh, handcuffs? Do you think she really cares about that? 
Not sure what that's supposed to mean, but using force on the violator will only get you in some very hot water. Force as in opening the door. Yes. All right, Morales, the violator said you are abusive and rude. Why don't I have a hard time believing that? Look, Sarge, it's obvious the lady's hysterical. She'll pop off if you look at her funny. She's been belligerent and hostile ever since I stopped her. She's begging for a night in jail. So, what are you gonna do, boss man? Uh... I mean, really now? Just... Yeah. Wisely and correctly, right, refusal to sign. Jeez, where do you get your training? Charm school? Just let her walk all over you, why don't you? Well, how about you learn some manners? <laughs> The woman only winces, though the emotion of the situation is causing her physical stress. Yeah. Still vote hospital, because... Yeah. Okay, I'll just leave, I guess, and hopefully be able to get the gun back. <laughs> All right, so starting the car, turning on this thing. They'll need to get off the highway. Not sure where the next ramp is gonna be, but I'll just try my best to take the next one. And also, as I said, not a single car drove past the entire time that I saw it. So, there. Off the highway now. I'll try my best to get back to the police station. Eventually. What? What? Meanwhile, at the Oak Tree Mall... Wow, time passed quickly. I was still allowed out just a second ago. Okay. Yes, very suspicious. Wearing a coat and looking around an empty parking lot. Seems pretty normal so far. Of course, leather jackets mean evil. Well, nice scream. I think she got murdered. Since you've reached the end of your jurisdiction, okay, great. Radio call interrupts your thoughts of being home with Marie tonight. Dispatch. Okay. Go ahead. Respond to an assault at the Oak Tree Mall, 300 East Rose. S2. Yes. True that. She probably should have gotten her keys before doing all of that, but I mean, why wouldn't you want to stand in an empty parking lot at night? Can't imagine why. So, where's the mall? There, okay. Yes, I know. 
empty parking lots are the best place to just spend an afternoon. Wait, am I on the highway again? But I'm not though. <laughs> I think the game is broken. <laughs> Cause the highway had the white markings, not the yellow ones. <laughs> I broke the game again. Darn it. Okay, so. I think I made it off the highway. Too bad I don't have the gun. Oh, wait, that was Marie? Okay, well. Fine. Wait, I, but, but I've already seen that just now. Is she getting stabbed twice? Also, didn't she have black hair? <gasps> yes. I was pretty sure she had black hair. But I guess that doesn't matter too much. So, um... The police station is quite close to here. Why can't I break there? Yes. Alright. So... I'm... Not where I'm trying to be. So, ah, uh, just go that way? No, the other way. Yeah. Going left, hopefully. Yes. Yes. Still not a huge fan of the driving system, but it could be even worse, I guess. So that's good. And I should have turned. So. Still trying to get back to the police station. Because of the gun that I missed. Whoopsies. Might get me fired, but... I mean... What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> So, one more straight. There. Where's that? Wait. Wait. Where was that turn to Lytton Police Department? It was there last time. Not fair. Did they just close the on-ramp? Or, like, the driveway? To let them police. You'd think that that wouldn't just disappear, right? I mean, this game seems to have some slight issues with, uh, well, having stuff not disappear without a reason. Okay, 
So, there. Gun locker. Eh. Fine. Marie's gonna be fine. Okay, so key and gun and that's it. Okay. All right, now I'm actually trying to head to the mall. It's not that far away. So, um, this way I think? It's difficult to know where I'm currently going and I'm going the wrong direction. Of course I am. It happens all the time. So. Yeah, I lose track of which way the car goes when I drive out of the police station, stuff like that. It's not very consistent and it's difficult to tell. <laughs> so between 9th and 10th. And it's on Rose Street. Okay, so. Ninth. Yes. And rose. There it is. So, is Marie still alive? First thing that strikes you is that the car belongs to Marie. Then you see the paramedics working over body. Panic begins to overwhelm you as you race to the ambulance. Oh no, this can't be, not Marie. They're just staring at him instead of trying to help her. <laughs> We're ready. If you're going, you'd better climb in. Okay. You jump in the ambulance. Alright. Marie's rushed to general emergency where the doctors begin the race to save her life. They work through the night, fighting to stabilize Marie's condition. Sunny spends hours of agony in the waiting room. Although they manage to save her life, Marie remains in a coma. Okay. When she's finally allowed to see her, oh, when he's finally allowed to see her, Sunny holds her hand till the pre-dawn hours, hoping and searching for some sign that she'll come back. Damn. Well, I mean, he did spend his evening with her. Officer Bonds, I'm Dr. Wa Wagner, I think, the resident neurosurgeon. I'm sorry to say that your wife's condition is still quite serious. She's suffering from internal injuries sustained from the multiple, the multiple stab wounds. How long she will remain in a coma is anyone's guess. He should really work on that speed talking that he's doing. In my experience, the presence of a loved one during it, urging the patient back from that void is an incalculable asset. We're doing all we can for her physically, but you might be the only one who can reach her now. Nurse found this chain clutched in your wife's hand. Sergeant Bonds, you'll beat. 
You really should go home and try to get some rest. There's nothing to be done for your wife right now. Well, that's reassuring. Thanks. We can all feel good about the fact that Marie's alive. Okay. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. I don't think the speed setting does much in this game, but whatever. So. Can I talk to her? Marie, please come back. Can't go on without you. You fight to pull yourself together. Gotta go now. You might need your rest. It's been a rough night. I mean... I think she's already resting as much as physically possible. I mean... She's not spending a lot of time conscious. The digital readout indicates Marie's IV dosage. That's fancy. The EKG monitor registers your wife's vital signs. Its steady beep and response to her pulse gives you some small comfort. Okay. Well. Guess I'll just leave. <laughs> Your beloved wife lies motionless in a coma. You wish there was some way to know what she's thinking. If she's thinking. Okay. Well. Time to develop telepathic abilities. Because, I mean, that's what you do in police academy, right? Cabinet contains general hospital issue plastics and a few personal items belonging to your wife. All right. Yeah, she's really not doing well, but I mean, she got kidnapped in the previous game <laughs> and was assumed dead. <laughs> so, yeah. I get- I'll get the bastard who did this, I swear it. As a fellow officer drives you back to your car at the mall, you fight to focus your rage, grief, and sense of violation into something you can live with. What you end up with is a burning desire to find and crucify the slime that hurt your wife. Maybe don't let him work on that case. Somebody out there picked the wrong man to mess with. Yeah, really don't like let him work on that case because he'll end up in prison. Okay. Looks like another one bit the dust. <laughs> Understand you were here before they removed the victim. Did you catch any dying words? Notice any signs of sexual assault? Anything at all? Really, he doesn't know who the victim is. Responding to your silence, the reporter says, oh, it's a reporter. Okay. Well, if you don't want to talk to me, I'll just get the information elsewhere. I don't think I'm allowed to shoot him. Can I talk to him? No, apparently not. Listen, you little blood-sucking piece of filth. The victim was my wife. I'll give your paper some details, all right? How about I rearrange your face? <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I'm terribly sorry. There. Okay. Just trying to get the facts. I thought you cops like that kind of loose talk. Helps keeps. It helps keep things from getting to you, okay? So, here's my card. If there's anything I can ever help you with. Great. So. 
Now I've got this guy's card. <laughs> Great tack. Uh, anything about the car? No. Marie's Trans Am. No clue what card that would be. Yes, it is Police Quest 3. <laughs> That's the game. Um, still sits in the poorly lit parking lot of the mall. You scan the car for clues, but find nothing. Alright. So, what if I talk to this lovely guy, who may or may not be a police officer? The officer is intent on his search and ignores you. Great. Anything else? It's just too dark to see anything. Perhaps you should come back when it's light. Alright. I mean, I do have a flashlight. Could just use that, right? Batteries are dead. How about the replacement batteries I got? You put the batteries in the flashlight. So, how about now? You turn your flashlight on and begin a search of the scene. Turn your flashlight off. Dang it. Okay. Um. Can I walk around? So. Better stay clear of this area. We're sweeping for evidence. Okay. What if I use the flashlight on the car? Is there something there? Anything? No. Really? I can't go there either. Fine. Yes. It's the most pixel hunting thing that I could even imagine. I mean, at this point I'm like, this is just another level of pixel hunting. So, yes. I have to agree with that. I don't even know where to look. Can I even reach the other side of the car? Or can I use it on the car? No. The other car. The giant stain. Nope. There was something there. You pick up what appears to be a medallion. Upon close inspection, you recognize it to be a Bronze Star War Medal. Okay. Oh, well, that's something. Good morning. How you doing? Alright, I'll just assume that that's all the stuff I was able to find there. I switch off the flashlight again? There. I think I did pick it up, yes. See? I've got it. So, there. Oh, wrong side of the car, of course. It happens. Physically and emotionally exhausted, you decide to go home and get some rest. Okay. So he drove to the police station to switch to the civilian car. Alright. Wait, he, he wakes up at 12? I mean, fine, he got home at like five. Even half asleep you recognize Captain Tate's stern voice.
Fawns, rise and shine, pal. I need you back in Homicide today. I've got work to do. <laughs> Report in plain clothes. Playboy, you, re you reply. I'll be there before 2 p.m. You hate waking up without Marie next to you. I mean, like, she got attacked yesterday. <laughs> wouldn't he get a day off at least? You'd think he wouldn't uh, be able to focus on police work today, right? You go through the motions of getting ready for work. I mean, I'm hoping that he's not supposed to uh, go to homicide because of his wife, because if it's a job for homicide, wouldn't that mean she died and nobody told him? Closet contains Marie's clothes and other personal items. The shelf, on the shelf, there's several of her favorite mementos, including a music box. Can I pick it up? I don't know why I'd need it, but well, all right. Guess I'll bring it to the hospital at some point. So, I mean, that's a lamp, I think, but all right. Marie used to curl up in that chair for hours. It was her favorite little reading area. Talking of her in the past tense while she's in a coma seems bit weird, but okay. I mean, she was only attacked yesterday, right? Well, whatever. It's your bed. It looks empty without Marie. I mean, looks very messy too. Anything you could do with the bed wouldn't be any fun without Marie, like making the bed. Okay. I guess he's just a very messy police officer. Yeah, it did take the music box. Also, I should really save. I generally take items that are specifically pointed out by, well, the narrator, the dialogue boxes, whatever. So, yeah, I do have it right here. Music box. On the back of the bronze star is a number. 09987. And a broken chain. Okay. It's the business card. Well, okay. I guess I should probably book those into evidence, right? No? Okay. Well, they're always out for lunch somehow. <laughs> yes, I did play Police Quest 1 and 2, and I also played um, Space Quest 1 through 4, King's Quest 1 through 5, and Lotus Suit Larry 1 and 2. So. Lots of Sierra games. You can see the full list of all the games I streamed for a significant amount of time in the info area of my channel. So, yes. Somewhere below the screen in your, if you're using a browser and on mobile, I think the info tab or something, I don't know. So, yeah. I'll also be streaming Police Quest 4 at some point. Anyhow, let's see. I've 
forgot to report to the second floor, I think. I don't know. I think the guy I was on the phone with would be on the second floor. Was this homicide? Possibly. Okay. So, welcome back, Vons. Sorry to hear about your wife, Marie. I'm assigning you to her case, since I know whatever that was. Case number whatever. You might want to review another stabbing case to see if there are any similarities. Sure. Am I supposed to remember all of those case numbers? Really? How am I supposed to remember any of this? Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Bonds. Look like we're looks like we're stuck together. Well. Great. So, could anyone please get them to slow down? <laughs> I feel like all the characters are just... Well, talking fast forward or something. But, yeah, I mean, she's... Worse than Keith, sure, because she's not only pretty useless, but also rude, so, I mean, Keith wasn't the best at, well, behaving properly, but he was less rude, so that was nice. Hey, look, there's some lady offering a reward for information on the whereabouts of her dog, Lucky. You ain't happen to have seen a three-legged, one-eyed, appendix-scarred, deaf, toothless dog. Ah, uh, no. So. Um... Thursday morning. Well, I don't even know what day it is now, but it's probably a good idea to save. So, um, don't worry, your lady will pull through. Well, I mean, at least she's not insulting me right now. Earl seems lost in thought about three-legged dogs with appendix scars. Good for him. Um, okay, that's his desk. Anything there? Your desk is near the filing cabinet. Oh, really? It's locked. Alright, does anyone have a key? Too bad I missed that pink... Uh, okay, whatever. I guess he's just reading random stuff in the newspaper. Probably doesn't matter at all. Okay. Wait. You need your computer access card. <laughs> okay. I guess those were a thing. <laughs> Good to know. So maybe they're in the drawer? No. Anywhere? Can't look at the in tray thing. A phone. Can I use it? Okay, great. I could just call dispatch. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You don't have a reason to call. Okay. Fine. Can I get up? Maybe. No. Uh, 
Really? Am I stuck in the desk now? <laughs> Is that what happens? I just get stuck in the desk. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> he now can't get up anymore because he's just out of energy. So. <laughs> All right, I managed to get up. On that computer, I don't know, but he doesn't have the card thing. Uh, yeah, I don't think I care about the stuff that he's reading in the newspaper. So, what's on that map? The graph on the wall charts homicides for the past three years. Like inflation, the crime rate rises steadily. Well, great. Catch up with you later. Great. Okay, um, not much going on here. Apparently that's also his computer. <laughs> Do I have my access card here? Phone. Okay, in out basket, anything in there? Remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. Okay. What do I do with that? I mean, yes, it's a request form, but where do I put it? Hmm. So, file drawers. Nothing you need in there. Fine. In there? No. That's the tenant stuff. So I'll just walk out of the office again. Okay. Um, I thought that was not the IT department, but dispatch? But maybe it was the IT department. Fine. I'll just assume it is. They have computers there, so must be IT. <laughs> None of the offices and the rest of the building have computers. Not a single one. It's all right. I mean, I figured I might need to go up here, but I don't know if dispatch is simultaneously the IT department. Apparently so. You had the requisition form to Mike, the head technician. Hey, no problem. You've got the new Mark V model, don't you? This goes from zero... To 30 megahertz and 3.5 seconds, and it has a. Uh, dude, honestly, I don't care. Why are you talking about a PC like about a car? I don't care about cars either. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm great at these games. So. <laughs> Real simple. Just boot up the machine and stick the card in. Okay. Now 
Nope, wrong floor. <laughs> Whoopsies. So, two. Um, it might be day two. Marie has already been stabbed. That's the stuff you're asking about. And she's currently in a coma. So, computer. Are you going to work now? Now that I've got the new access card thing. So, um, wait, did I not get the card? Really? Really now? Because, yeah, I don't think I got the card. <laughs> the highway stuff. No, I wasn't a huge fan. <laughs> But yeah, it seems like I didn't actually get the card. Good job, me. Fine, I'll try and push the button instead. Um, yeah, I can't stop him from walking over to the door now. Great. So. Yes, it is a big red button, but last time I tried that, it didn't work, so. Might have to go back up to IT and ask them to actually give me the card for once. So. No. Nope, did not work. So, yeah, seems like it didn't work out. The big red button just turns it off. Uh, did I try shooting that guy? Yes. But I did that last stream, not today. Well, it definitely hasn't been 20 years since I looked at this. <laughs> Can confirm. <laughs> so, is it in his intro now? I'm hoping it is. Nope. Well, fine. Back up to IT. Silly me assuming that he picks up the card when he gets handed a card. I mean, I didn't specifically have to pick up the uh, business card from the reporter either, so. That's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Third floor. Give me that card. There. Mike mumbles to himself. I'm getting sick and tired of cops who don't return things. Okay. Get on the radio and tell that Dimwick Banks to get that tracking device back. Okay. Batch responds. Officer Banks says that he needs the tracker for three more days. Okay. Fine then. So. 
So, there. And there. Now I should hopefully be able to use the computer. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, that's some wholesome entertainment right there. <laughs> nope, nope, not the phone. Computer, and that's the card. Okay. So no, homicide. Ah, uh, review case. Enter case number. <sighs> so I actually need to have the case numbers. <laughs> Great. I mean, the guy just sped through those case numbers in a matter of seconds. So, I don't like this. Saving. And going back to before he told me those numbers. There. I mean, there are two numbers that I need, and I don't think that's one of them. Um. Parser. Not point and click. I started out using the point and click version because it was the first uh, Sierra game that I played. And I just ended up starting the wrong version. Not on purpose. So, yeah. Uh, the streams are still up on my channel. I have a full playlist of the Police Quest games. Sure, you can find it if you want to. So. Getting ready to remember the case numbers, also known as taking pictures of them. So, so there, and the other case number. Come on, there. So, restore, here we go. Just traveling back in time, no big deal. So, computer, card, there. And homicide, review case, one, nine, nine, one, four, four. Searching, searching, so, victim, Marie Bonds, ah, uh, not sure what this means um or what dob means oh date of birth that's date of birth okay so she was born in 55 all right good for her um uh, location i guess that's the location of well 
where it happened. Suspect none. This is 91, okay. Now I know. Time, 1730. Investigator Sunny Bonds. I mean, oh, white female. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I'm just not used to those kinds of abbreviations, I guess. So, yeah. Disposition, victim in a coma with multiple stab wounds. Still not sure why that would be homicide. I thought homicide would mean that, ah, oh, the victim is dead. But I guess coma is close enough for them. Weapon used, puncture wounds, measuring, uh, six inches by one and a half inches, I think. That would mean. Um, indicate the weapon as being a dagger. Evidence analysis, nothing. So. Yeah, true, she is Sonny's wife, so. Fair enough. Well, I don't know much about the year 55. Can't say I'm old enough to remember it. <laughs> Just by, like, a tiny bit. So. The suspects were frightened off during the attempt on the victim's life. Mode of robbery. Well, did they steal anything there? Evidence analysis, nothing. Okay. So, review case. And the other case number is 199137. So, Clifford Jones white male uh date of birth 35 well he's a tad older and also male but i guess if they're willing to stab a woman they're willing to stab this guy i don't know so, lacerated heart and liver due to multiple stab wounds, puncture wounds measuring the same, and weapon, a dagger, hair clutched in the victim's hand, lab analysis, blood type, A negative, okay. Incisions in the shape of a pentagram were located in the lower left quadrant of the torso. Pentagram was carved after death. Yeah, that's a perfectly normal burglary right there. The, sus the suspects during the process of burglary were interrupted by the victim. A struggle ensued and the victim was murdered. Yeah, he got stabbed, the motive is burglary, but why would they carve a pentagram? into his torso. Were they trying to steal his organs too? <laughs> um. No, I did not. I guess I should have. Um, well, either way. <laughs> but yeah, I guess selling organs would probably earn you quite a bit of money, but still, seems a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it does seem a bit odd to go, 
they took the time to carve a pentagram onto a dead guy. It's a burglary. Yeah. Sounds about right. Actually, I should have checked the location of that one. Because I didn't actually do that. So, uh, 199137, I think. So. Okay, Palm. I don't know if that area is just somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I'll check the map. So, Palm, Palm, Palm. Um. Two hundred eighty. Okay. I don't know where that would be. Okay, I guess we're in there. Fine. Well, doesn't seem to be anything there on the map. So. Yeah. I'm guessing it's just at his home. Because, I mean, burglary would usually be at a home, right? Because, I mean, they were in the process of a burglary and they were interrupted, so. I'd assume it's his home. Or workplace, possibly. So. Um. Serial number? Don't have any. Quit. Tools. Uh, city map? Great. <laughs> so, plot? Um, so I think it was around like here because it said 280 so here or there this is parkway uh, okay this is third this is fourth that would be between those there and the other one was at the mall which is there okay <laughs> great check <laughs> okay great check pattern fine so i mean i only have two crimes <laughs> there's not much of a pattern going on but are they going to make a pentagram shape with the locations of their crimes because <laughs> for some reason that drawing tool makes me think it's going to be one <laughs> All right, personnel. It's just a good old list. Why not? Um. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I Made mean, two points. So many possibilities. I do have a number on that metal thing. So. Back of the Bronze Star is a number. I don't know where I'd look up that number. But you'd assume it has to be somewhere. Yep. 
yeah. I guess that it's military, but, like, where would I look up military rec records in this place? I don't think it has a serial number that's registered in homicide. So... Who do I call? <laughs> and what's on this board? I rarely find anything of interest on the bulletin board. Messages are public. Leave them up. Alright, can't even try to read them. Can I look at this? No. Can I talk to her? Not really. Can I talk to him? No. What's in the local rag, Earl? There's a good article in here about the newspaper helping another department find a witness to a shooting. Okay. Nice. I guess I'll call the reporter guy? I mean, why not? It's not like that could cause any issues. <laughs> There. So. I mean, it's a number that's easy enough to remember. 555-0707. So. Can I use the phone? 55. Five, nope. 555-0707. Clinton Daily News, may I help you? To identify yourself, describe Marie's tact and request help from the paper in locating a witness. Yes, sir, officer. We'll get that in the very next edition, and good luck, sir. Nice. So. That worked. And we'll hopefully do something. So, I don't know how much time has passed, but I'll just assume there's something I can do outside. Maybe I can go back to evidence now, unless they're still on lunch break. And if that is the case, then someone should maybe have a talk with them. Seems like they're just on a permanent lunch break. So, do I book this? No. Apparently I do. What case number, Sunny? <sighs> okay, case number. Um... One, nine, nine, one, four, four. Name, Murray Bonds. Description of evidence, Bronze Star. Location found, Saint of Tack, Mall parking lot. Disposition, secure as evidence. OK. 
Okay. So what about this? Broken chain. Well, yes, it's definitely how people talk. What case number? <laughs> Great. Yes, and also people have a numpad that just pops up while talking. One nine nine one four four. Name Murray Bonds. Description. Broken neck chain. Location found. Clutch in the victim's right hand. Disposition. Secure as evidence. Guess it's time to call it a day before you close out your shift. You head over to the hospital to see Marie. That was a fairly short shift. I mean, he arrived at work at 2 p.m. And like now it's like 3. <laughs> the receptionist looks friendly enough. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> so, what kind of work day is that? <laughs> I mean, I guess he's just got nothing to do, but <laughs> still. If that's a half day, that would mean he usually works like less than two hours. <laughs> May I help you, sir? Yes. Looking for my wife, Marie Bonds. Could you tell me what room she's in, please? Oh, yes. 307, I think? So, uh, I'll just assume that's on the third floor. Room 7. Unless they've got a weird numbering scheme. Or, actually, I guess I could get flowers for her. Because apparently she likes flowers. Or not. <laughs> Can I go back to the previous save? <laughs> Hope it's not too long ago. Yeah, could be worse. Okay. So, one nine nine one four one four four, I think. So, I should know the number by now. That's great. And I'll turn up the speed. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'll just try and get her flowers. I mean, she's in a coma, so seems like a good time to give someone flowers, right? That way she'll really get to appreciate them. <laughs> I mean, yes, but... <laughs> so what? <laughs> so, one, nine, nine, one, four, four. It's not like I would have been able to give them to her at all. Because she ended up getting kidnapped pretty soon after the whole flower thing. Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, and the chain. There. One. No, not, not eight. Name. John Doe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. No. Wrong. I used the wrong number. Now I have to redo it. Darn it. Okay.
And no, I'm not going to buy a bunch of calendars from, I think it would be 2001. Because I believe this game is set in 91. Yeah. Unless my memory is worse than usual, which is possible. So, one, nine, nine, one, four, four. Okay, and skipping through all of that. It's fine, yes, yes, great. And the necklace. Okay, one, nine, nine, one, four, four. Okay. Accidentally using the wrong number. Uh, not a fan of that. So, flowers? Possibly? Can I get you something? Yes? Flowers? Do I give her money? No. I'd like a rose, please. <laughs> just, just one. Good choice. Our roses are particularly fresh and beautiful today. Here you are, sir. That'll be two fifty. You take. You pay the florist and take the rose. All right. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Usually they just look like garbage, but today they actually look like roses. Yes, please give me one singular rose for my wife who's in a coma. <laughs> Is he going to, like, drape it over her and be real dramatic about it? Yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> You could swear that you just saw Marie's finger move. <laughs> that doesn't make her look dead at all. Perfect. Okay. I hope he I hope she doesn't injure herself with that thing. So, music box. Marie's eyes flutter, almost as though she could hear her music box. Okay. Right. Can I play it again? No. It worked so well the last time. Can I pick it up again? Let Marie keep her music box. But but I want to find it up again. No? Fine. <sighs> I'll just save. Anything else you might want? How about a flare? <laughs> no. Probably not. Flares? No. No. Flashlight. Computer access card. No. The number on the machine. Okay. Sure. I'll just assume it's going to change. For whatever reason. You can't change the medication by yourself. <laughs> yeah, you really shouldn't. So, anything else? Leave the monitor alone. It will alert the staff if Marie goes into distress. Okay. I'll just walk away, I guess. Hello? No. <laughs> Can't walk away. So... Ah. Uh. You softly kiss your wife. Her eyelids flicker in response. Great, I got points for that. 
How romantic. All right. Anything else? <laughs> Didn't get points this time. <laughs> That's where the doctor hangs the patient's charts. The patient's chart. Okay. Well, never actually been in a hospital in the US, so never actually seen the whole patient chart thing. Well. Feeling physically and emotionally drained, you drive home. <laughs> It was a long work day. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened to the time? <laughs> he got to the hospital at like three. <laughs> and drove home while well, it was still light out but suddenly it was 10 p.m. when he got home <laughs> thanks for the follow <laughs> you go through the motions of getting ready for work <laughs> yeah did he fall asleep <laughs> in his car in the hospital parking lot Yeah, I guess the speed is way too high now. Oh. But, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He kissed her twice, so that would have taken ages. Not sure where else he'd stop off, because, I mean... The game kind of said that he was physically and emotionally drained. So. Let's see. Um, it's another day. And he's there at like noon again. <laughs> So, saving, because I don't know what's going to happen, and I might end up with, like, five no more case numbers that I need to remember. <laughs> yeah, I guess he just... Works whenever he feels like it. Okay. Afternoon, Bonds. I was just on my way to the locker room. I'll be back in a minute if you need me. Okay. Well. Have fun. No, I'm not going to follow her to the locker room. Pick up and read the message. Bonds, a Carla Reed called for you. Said she saw the newspaper article about Marie. Better get on over there. I think she may have something for you. Strange address. Okay. Old industrial park. Uh oh. I don't think that's going to end well, but sure. Why not end up in an old industrial park? Sounds like a perfectly safe place to be. Okay. He has his gun, he just doesn't have the nightstick. Not sure where that went.
So I guess I need to go to the locker room too. <laughs> Uh, I don't have a clue. <laughs> I mean, I'm even bad at telling with people IRL, so don't ask me. I'm bad at telling where someone's from based on looks and acts and anything really so i usually just ask people that usually works animals just bad geography so that could also be part of why i just ask people <laughs> Um, 776, I think? Right? Yes. Okay. They can put men on the moon, but they can't make a dispenser that won't run out of paper. Okay. Whoopsies. Click on the toilet paper. Wait, that's the flashlight? Where did the nightstick go? <laughs> But yes, it's great music, actually, compared to most of the other music in this game so far. Yeah, I guess that could be it. Well, he did need one, like, just two days ago. <laughs> In-game, not, like, real time. Yeah, fine. Either way, um, guess I'll just drive there. All right, guess she's going along. Can't wait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nothing better than some driving. <laughs> so. Um. This is Carla Reed. This Carla Reed lives on... Wherever that is. So, it's not residential, so better not be someone's idea of a joke. South Second, that's just a bunch of old abandoned warehouses. Okay. Oh, I'll just trust her on that, I guess. If she gave me the wrong address, then shame on her. So. I'm not quite sure where I'm supposed to be going. Like, where's 325 South 2nd? Currently checking the map. I mean, there's the coroner, court, police, hospital. I have no clue what that says or that. Oh, well, actually, actually, I 
do think I know where I'm supposed to be going. Seems to be down here. So. It's gonna be fun getting there. <laughs> All right, should hopefully be heading the correct direction now. Yes, I am. Lovely. I don't know where it is exactly. It could be on this side, could be on this side. Somewhere around there. But now I'm not going to try and steal her purse. <laughs> At least not today. So, nothing here. Seems like it. Okay. Um, did I go the wrong direction? Yes, I did. Oh, <laughs> it happens. Okay. And nope, not not gas. Nope. <laughs> Whoopsies. Well, <laughs> I guess that deals with having an annoying partner. <laughs> Whoops. Anyways. been an entertaining stream. But that's enough for today. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Won't have to deal with her anymore. <laughs> Alright, so I'll be streaming again tomorrow. Same time, same place. So, see you guys then. And yeah, have a nice rest of your day. Bye.